fell. Now it's all wet. It's 8 a.m. right now. Josh Love just came over. I gotta go buy some envelopes for him and come back. I wanna go to Costa Mesa, but here's the thing. Brian Betts hit me up and he wants to skate today. So this is where my dilemma lies and this is a lot of times why I don't make plans with people. I don't know if I should wait for his call until maybe like 10-ish or so. I just don't know what I would do for two hours in Long Beach. I'd much rather go to Costa Mesa, explore the city, skate. There's a skate park there apparently that's really, really crazy good. I would love to skate that. And someone on my comments actually mentioned it. Um, and then from there I could go to Starbucks, get on my new computer and uh, design, edit, work, have fun. Let's figure it out. Brian just texted me so I'm pretty sure I'm meeting up with him today and I'll probably do Costa Mesa tomorrow. But twice I've asked him, I said, what time are we meeting up? He doesn't reply, and then I'll be like, do you want to skate the certain spot? And he's like, yeah, I'm down to skate there. I'm like, cool, what time? No reply. So uh, I'll give it to about, I don't know, I'd say about 9.30, and then I'm just heading out. I don't even, whatever. It says your total is $27.55, but it's not giving me the, the next option. That was probably worst case scenario. The thing, the machine wasn't working. So I was just sitting there like, okay, maybe we should just try the other one. He's like, okay, well, one more try. And uh, I hate to say this, super nice guy, but probably one of the creepiest human beings I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you don't really talk to people by whispering, I don't think. It's just really creepy. Let's go home. I'm just getting back to my apartment. I'm gonna run inside, hang out with Josh for just a minute. Uh, it's 8.50. So in about an hour, I'm supposed to be meeting up with Brian. I have like one or two errands to run outside of my apartment by then. And inside, I have like one or two things I can do really quick. That's it. That's the game plan. Dad's here. Dad? So when it comes to dumping out the trash, they prefer me go in the basement and around the building and do this crazy route that's like 20 times as long as just going out the front door because I have the first room of the whole building and uh, I just can't do it. So I just walked by the lady and she didn't see me, thank goodness, but they told me to stop doing that twice. Um, but I'm, I can't, that is ridiculous. I'm heading to Brian Betts' house now though because I'm gonna pick him up, we're gonna go skateboarding, we're gonna have a good time. I think we have one spot really in mind that we wanna skate. It's, uh, it's this beautiful, beautiful, uh, beachside area with like these benches that are amazing. They're super. It's a super famous spot, but uh, we're gonna see if we can get some good goods. All right, that was sick, dude. I'll see you later. You ready? Yeah. Brian claims that he skated here for three hours the other day. Every single time I've ever been here, I've been kicked out in like 20 to 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. <coughs> and Brian bought me a Snickers. Don't worry, I got a fresh white tee on. Yeah! Oh! I got a fresh... What colors are these? I don't know. Teal and blue. Teal and blue. That's not blue and that's not teal. <laughs> One's blue, it's blue and maroon. Let see. No, it's teal and blue. <laughs> a police officer just showed up. We just got here. How stupid you look. <laughs> yeah, I don't do this. Yeah. Like, all this would be such a good shot. Work police. You could film <laughs> through that. I'm nowhere. Don't run over our stuff. You guys gotta pay attention to the signs. Yeah. We can't just roll through. At all. And you can ride your bikes through. I'm just asking. No, I'm sorry. I'm just wondering. I got a couple of questions for you. It's hard to tell in the footy, but the cop thought Brian was sassing him super hard. Because he brought up this thing where bikes could ride here and skateboarders can't, even for transportation. And the cop absolutely said we could not, which is kind of ridiculous. And he said there were signs posted everywhere, but I don't see one. There's not a single sign on the path that we took that says we can't skateboard here. Didn't you say you just saw one somewhere? No, I'm saying there's a white sign right there, but it just has a bunch of stuff on it. And he also said we're not allowed to film here, and if he has CCV head cameras right there, that uh -huh. he's going to get our faces and get the judge to show that we it were sound, skateboarding. He said that he got people in trouble, didn't he just say yeah. that? He is kind of a jerk face. So since that spot was a huge spot, since that spot was a huge bus and a really dooky time, now we're going to the tennis court ledges. I look fat. <laughs>
God damn it. <laughs> yeah, so we're picking up uh, Brian's friend right now, and then we are gonna go skateboarding at this awesome tennis court spot ledge thing. All right, now that Brian's gone, uh, his friend is Brad Cromer. He's this really, really talented skateboarder who's uh, had a lot of really amazing parts, and I grew up watching him because he's from the East Coast. He's from Florida, and I'm from South Carolina. So I knew about this dude ever since he was little, but it's kind of cool, and now that we're in California, we're about to go skating together. It's gonna be cool. What were you asking me? I was saying- Hurricane, wow. You're a tear in my no, you're No, you're fine, there's no hole. Maybe inside the pants. And I, I put a symbol on the first. Change your neighbors to Biggie flip. Yeah. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> Good job, Brian. Yeah, that was tight. I have like the worst angle for your hurricane. Yeah! I hope you didn't do anything off that. <laughs> I nollie traded off it. No! I have 45 minutes before the post office closes, so I came home and I'm helping Josh Love carry all the stuff there because it's a lot of stuff apparently today. We, we played a little catch up, but that session, super fun. Brad Kroomer's flip tricks are so high, it bums me out. It's actually kind of depressing. Me and, me and Brian Betts would look over and be like, because uh, we just know, I don't, we can't get our boards to launch off the ground like that. Every time we did a kickflip, it was like, it's phenomenal. It's really cool. The dude's killing it. It's uh, it's really fun to watch him skate. So, Brian Betts though, he was supposed to get a line. That's the reason we went there in the first place, and he did not because he spent most of the time filming. Um, I got two lines, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna post in the edit because I'm, I'm filming for a video part, so I feel like I should save some of it. Uh, anyways, we're gonna go inside right now and bother Josh. Josh is not here. Uh, what? Oh. I guess he finished early and he already left. It's getting dark, but I'm going inside Starbucks right now to work on a few things and then Chipotle, which is directly next to it, consumerism. And I'm gonna get some food, hang out, and it might not be that interesting, but I'll try to film a little bit while I'm in there. I am so excited to have a computer with an actual working headphone jack, because now I can edit while I'm in there. I can edit today's videos while I'm in there. It's very cool, and I'm leaning my head a little to the right because the camera's cocked a little sideways. Alright. Good job, idiot. Right next door. At first I was super disappointed because it said it was going to take 30 minutes, but as I was walking out I looked back and it said 16 minutes, and that was in like one minute. So it's obviously rendering a lot faster, which is such a relief. Uh, the computer is killing it for me. Having the headphone jack work and I can just edit anywhere I am is a, a game changer for me. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, but I'll be in there a little bit longer, and then I'm going to read a book. I'm not sure if I'm going to go home to read it or read it here because... I don't know, I'm having I'm having fun, which is weird sitting there in silence. Um, but yeah, it's a Tina Fey book, so it's kind of exciting. I have an insane amount of energy, and it's from that stupid coffee that was full of caffeine and sugar. Um, but it's 8.33 right now, and it's usually about the time I start crashing, really. Uh, I've been up since 5.30, but right now I'm gonna get some food, even though I just ate Chipotle, but I know that in like two or three hours I'm gonna be sitting there chilling and just like, I need a snack and I'd rather it be food than going to 7-Eleven and buying three bags of chips, which is what I usually do. Psycho. 
This will forever be my complaint about Long Beach, but I'm getting dinner right now and I have to skate four blocks to get to the restaurant. I had to park in a random garage. Hello. So we're going there now. Random human. If you noticed a lag at all in the last two days videos, I actually lost a bunch of clips. I had a bunch of iPhone stuff filmed. Uh, I skated the other day and I did this, I was trying to front big some board slides and my board snapped in half. Awesome clip and uh, I lost it. I actually sent it to a few people too and it was just gone. So uh, I don't know what happened but from I think yesterday's video and today's video I had a bunch of clips missing. I don't really know what happened and I am sorry about that but I will make sure that doesn't happen again. Uh, it's, it's really weird to me, it hasn't happened yet but anyways. I'm going to bed. That's my last message of the night, the last thing I'm gonna to say to the camera because I'm tired. It's uh, it's pretty late actually today, but I'm waking up early tomorrow and going straight to Costa Mesa. So uh, thanks for watching as always, and thanks for subscribing and being awesome. You guys are the best, and I can tell that all the people who are commenting on my videos are just very happy, awesome people, and that's very exciting to see out there, especially amongst the youth. So good night, take care.